y'all welcome back and welcome if you're new hope you guys are doing well today i am going to be sh sharing with you guys a monthly grocery haul for us so on average we try to go grocery shopping every three weeks to a month depending on how much food we've got left um this this time this grocery haul um we actually spread it out to be a month before we had gone sh grocery shopping again so it's been a month since we've had um since we've gone grocery shopping. So anyway, I'm excited to show you guys what we get. I'm gonna show you or tell you the different stores we went to and then the different things that we got really quick. And so let's go ahead and let's show you what I got. So here's all the groceries bagged quite a bit. Um, sometimes we get actually, we get a lot more, but I'm really good on a lot of the bulk items that we get. So thankfully we didn't, didn't have to get a whole ton of things it looks smaller than it is there's a lot more stuff in there anyway so let's go ahead and I will unbag all these things and show you guys what we got all right so I'm gonna go ahead and start with Walmart Walmart was super small haul actually there and I actually used their pickup option instead of going into the store we don't shop at Walmart very much but there are a few things that I like to get there so the first things up are these avocados they're um I think there's like how many of them are there? There's like five. Anyway, and these were each like $2 and something. They were like almost three maybe a piece. So I thought that was a pretty good deal. I also get these disposable but reusable um, dishwashing gloves. Um, I have a condition on my hands. I've got like some sort of dermatitis. Um, I've never been um, diagnosed, but I just get really dry skin, cracked, and I'll can I can tend to get an infection in my hands. So I try not to wash my dishes or use any soap or anything without gloves on. So anyway, uh, the next thing up is this shampoo. Um, this I got at Walmart. Um, it's like one of the best brands that doesn't have all the chemicals and stuff. It is still scented, but I just don't have the energy to make my own and all the other ones are way, way out of our budget. So this is actually a pretty good brand and it's not going to hurt your hair. Um, okay, and then this is some castile soap. I got the lavender scented. It's just pure castile soap with lavender in it and it's really, I use it for so many different things. I make laundry soap with it. I make, um, Oh, what else do I make with it? But anyway, I make a lot of different cleaning supplies with this. So that's what I bought there. And then I got this natural dish detergent. It's from Mrs. Myers. I don't like the brand a whole lot um, just because it's got a lot of different things that I probably don't agree with their, I don't agree with their brand on everything, but they're the best non-toxic brand. And so that's what I bought until I find a different one. That's what we're using. I know I'm not going to make my own because I've tried and it doesn't work. Um, and then I got this cool styling brush. I've never used one of these. It's like the soft brittles. Um, I want to try it and hopefully it'll ex exfoliate my scalp. So I'm going to try that out. And then I needed a new brush. So I got that. And then I don't like, I'm very picky about our salami and I only get their natural kind um, that doesn't have any, it's uncured. It doesn't have any preservatives, nitrates, um, or artificial ingredients. And so it's all just plain meat with some added stuff, but not like bad stuff. So, and then this I had never tried before, but they're all natural uncured beef hot dogs. Josiah really likes them. And we've been getting the, um, oh, what are those? They're like a are they called Hebrew hot dogs? I don't remember. Anyway, um, but they have some stuff in it that I don't like. So I'm going to try these because they're 100% natural grass fed. And so I'm excited to try these. Hopefully they taste really good. Um, another thing is this is Josiah. He really, really likes um, hummus. And so I bought him some of this. And so that's what we went with there. And then, okay, so that's all Walmart. All right, so moving on. The rest of it, or the big bulk of it, is all from Winco. We do not go to Costco, one, because we just, we're not a big enough family really to use it, but we've, another thing is I don't like Costco very much. I'm not gonna go into why, but um, even though I love their, a lot of their merchandise. But anyway, we don't go to Costco anymore, um, so we go to Winco, anyway. So I got two dozen of these cage-free brown eggs, no hormones or antibiotics. Granted, it's not free range, but it's better than the alternative. So, and then I got these fruit roll-ups. They're really good snacks for the kids and for Josiah at work. And they're not super 
amazingly healthy, but they're pretty good. So before we move on, I wanted to mention, um, some of you may already know this, but those of you who are new, we try to eat very healthy and nutritious. And we also try, I try to cook all of our meals from scratch. And so a lot of the different, um, <laughs> the different, um, purchases that I have are all to go along with making our food from scratch and healthy eating. So I just wanted to mention that if some of you were wondering why I um, have so many things that you have to make from scratch or why so many things are um, healthy. Anyway, there was those. Those are great. I also got some kettle chips just so I like them with his lunches and they're a good brand. They don't have any bad stuff in them. Um, these were on sale. I d I'm trying to get away from buying any cereal, but these are organic and they don't have any harmful ingredients in them. So I, that'll be a splurge. It'll be a treat for my kids, maybe on Sunday mornings. Um, I got some bags. These are just nice for Josiah sandwiches or like freezing things. Um, I also got two loaves of whole wheat bread. Um, this is Wheat Montana. They're a really good company. They're non-GMO and I really like buying from them. Um, I got some tortillas. These are probably not non-GMO. They're probably got some things in them, but Josiah really likes tortillas with his breakfast burritos. And the other tortillas are just way out of our price range. And so I went ahead and got those. Anyway, uh, next thing are a thing of bagels. This is also from Wheat Montana. Again, no GMOs in there and really good bread to buy. Um, another Wheat Montana product um, is flour. So I got two 10 pound bags of flour from um, Winco. And I we just go through a lot of flour because I bake a lot and I make my own bread. So, um, or I most, I like to bake my own bread. Um, but anyway, yeah, so this is Wheat Montana. Um, it's a company here in Montana that uh, makes all like, it makes bread and breads and flours and um, grains and stuff. And um, it's all like, they're all natural. It's a natural, all natural company and a non-GMO company. So very cool and that's why I like to buy from them. But anyway, uh, moving on. <laughs> so the next thing is this little extra light tasting olive oil. This is for stuff that like in, if I make cakes or um, something I have to make really quickly that maybe doesn't involve melting butter or melting coconut oil. So I just like to have that on hand for whatever I need most of the time like for dress salad dressing. Um, another thing, I did buy this salad dressing. It's a Newman's Own Ranch. It's the healthiest ranch I've, like, bought or that I've found um, at stores. You can also make it yourself, but I don't always have the ingredients on hand. This is a really good alternative to making your own. Uh, another one is Stubbs Original <laughs> Legendary Barbecue Sauce. Okay, normally I'd make my own barbecue sauce, but Josiah is very picky, and so I went ahead and tried this one. Um, the barbecue sauce that... We had been getting in the past is actually has corn syrup in it and so I decided to throw that out <laughs> and Josiah is not going to be eating that anymore um, anyway but he does like barbecue sauce and it's kind of nice to have on hand in case I don't have time to make my own um, but anyway we're gonna try that out next is cheese I got two two pound box I think that's what they are um, I got a Tillamook brand which is Josiah's favorite and and a Dairy Gold, which Gar Dairy Gold was on sale and Tillamook was not, so I got one of each anyway. Um, I like Dairy Gold a lot. Okay, and then over here, I got some um, Daisy Sour Cream. They have It's a really good brand to get if you're looking for something that doesn't have any toxic stuff in it. Um, and then I got some butter. And then we got some cream cheese. I got some cream cheese packs and a spreadable cream cheese container for Josiah's bagels. They're easy in the morning. Um, I also got some salsa. This is a fresh salsa. We like Josiah's favorite fresh salsa store bought. Anyway, um, it's really good and doesn't have any harmful stuff in it. Um, I got some pickles. And then I got two things of, I don't, I think these are, yeah one gallon jugs of vinegar. I use this a lot in my cleaning, um, <laughs> cleaning bathrooms, pretty much anything to do with cleaning. I use a lot of white vinegar or apple cider vinegar. And so we bought, I bought two of those. Winco is the cheapest place to buy vinegar guys, at least white vinegar. All right. And then the next thing I got some cilantro. I really want to start eating a lot more herbs and vegetables. And so I tried to get a good portion of veggies, but anyway, um, and then I got some lemons, um, and then I got some carrots. These are not organic. 
actually none of the produce except for the spinach um, is organic and the reason for that is mainly due to the fact that I just can't afford to buy organic produce. I can't, we can't afford it. Um, not every time here and there we can with certain things like spinach. I try to buy organic just because it's so hard to clean and it is one of the dirtiest, toxic, most toxic, um, plants that are, if it's not organic. So, um, anyway, what I do with all of this is I will wash it in baking soda and a vinegar solution and soak it for a couple minutes and then I will, I will just clean them really well. So it tries to get all the pesticide residue off. Um, or wax, because like apples, that's a big, no, that's a big thing with apples. But anyway, so I got lemons, I got carrots, um, and then we, I got some apples, that's a really good snack. Anyway, and then uh, strawberries were on sale, so I went ahead and bought some of those. And then I bought some organic baby spinach. I love this in our smoothies. I also got two things of bananas, and then a thing of romaine lettuce. I also bought a 10 pound bag of potatoes. We go through a lot of potatoes. And then that is all, oh no wait, and then we bought cat food for the cat. And no, I don't buy him organic cat food. I just, he's not, how do I say this? He's worth it, but he's not worth it. Um, organic cat food, you guys, is way too expensive. So I just feed him this, and most of the time he eats mice anyway, so it doesn't really matter. Okay, next is Super One, actually. So that's a little grocery store here in our town where we live. And, um, I just, when Cone Walmart didn't have a few of the items I wanted, like they didn't have organic Cheerios and this is really nice for like Kylo or car trips. I just like to have them and they don't have anything toxic in them. And so I got some toasted oats. Um, they're way better for you than the regular Cheerios. Anyway, then I got some of these. These were totally just cheap on sale, 98 cents a bag. Um, totally not super healthy, but we needed some chips. So I went ahead and got three bags of those. Um, and then I got some, um, raw sunflower kernel, sunflower kernels. These are really good in like oatmeal and salads and eggs. I really like to have that. This is a gift for my grandpa. His birthday is today. And then I actually got a few things at the Dollar Tree in Missoula, which is the town I went to to get all these groceries, except for those, um, I got some cute stickers and a coloring book and um, Judah's gonna be starting, I wanna start teaching him letters cause he's really interested. Um, and then I got some cards for birthdays coming up. Um, these little trinkets are for Judah for his birthday that is also coming up. All right, and then I got, oh, I actually kind of forgot about these. This is just a snack for me cause they're pretty healthy for the most part. Also, I forgot to mention that I got these things. This is Chloe's or oat milk raspberry chip pops um so i'm excited to try these this is like a healthy treat that i wanted to just buy they were at winco there's four pops in there and they sound really good and they're dairy free and they have little to no or wait yeah there's no toxic ingredients so cool I'm excited to try them. But anyway, wanted to mention that I did get these too. Anyway, that is our haul. We went to, I went to Walmart, Pickup, Winco, Super One, and the Dollar Tree. And all of this I got there. So yeah, guys, um, I think all in all, I spent like, I wanna say 250, maybe almost $300, which is not bad. Um, normally we spend closer to $400 per month, but I thought that was pretty good. Um, I'm trying, I've gotten some other bulk items like we have oatmeal and we have, well, I didn't get sugar. Unfortunately, they didn't have any organic sugar wherever I went. So I'm gonna probably have to order that because I do need to get a Azure order going. Anyway, um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video, but um, it's really quick and short, but I did wanna show you guys what a regular grocery haul looks like for us. Um, some of you have asked and were curious. So anyway. That's kind of what we get. Those are the stores we mainly go to. And so yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this. I will see you guys in my next video. Have a great one. Bye.